Hello friends, this is NodeChat application tutorial series with MongoDB database. And under this part, we will make logout button. So when user has been click on this button, then user will be logout system and this logout status will be updated in MongoDB database. In previous part, we have make one middleware for check JWT token data and then after. We have fetch user data from MongoDB database and then after display user profile and name details on web page. Now for create logout button, we have goes to chat.html file. And here, we have create one button tag with type is equal to button and class is equal to button button primary and button small class. After this, we have to write, on click attribute is equal to logout button, so when user has been click on this button, then this function will be called. Now we have goes to, javascript code part, and here we have create, asynchronous logout function. Under this function, first we want to remove, JWT token from local storage. So for this, we have to write local storage dot remove item function and in argument, we have to write token. So it will remove token variable from browser local storage. After this, we want to update user login status to logout in database. So for this, we have to send fetch API request. So here, we have to write Form data variable is equal to blank object. And in object key, we have to write user ID and value. We have to write user data dot underscore ID variable. So here, we have store login user ID data under this form data variable. After this, we have to write response variable is equal to await keyword with fetch method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write, slash logout, and in second parameter, we have to define, different option. So in first option, we have to write, method and here, we have to write post, so it will use post method for send data. In second option, we have to write, headers option, and here we have set, content type, with JSON application. In third option, we have to write body option, and under this, we can define data, which we want to send to server. So here, we have to write, json.stringify function, with form data variable as argument, so it will convert data into json format. Next we want to pass, json response, so here, we have to write, constant data variable is equal to await keyword with response.json function after this we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write data.success if this condition true that means user has been logged out from system and system will redirect this user to login page. So here, we have to write, window.location.href is equal to slash, so it will redirect web page to, login page. So here, this logout function is ready, now we have goes to server file, and here, we have to create, one post routes for handle logout request. So here, we have to write, app.post method, with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write, slash logout, and in second parameter, we have to write, asynchronous callback function, with request and response variable as argument. Under this function, we have to write, constant user ID variable is equal to, request.body.userID. So here, we have store, user ID data, under user ID local variable. 
After this, we want to fetch user data from MongoDB database. So here, we have to write constant user variable is equal to await keyword with user model dot find by id function. And under this function, we have to write user id variable as argument, so it will fetch user data from database and store under user variable. After this, we have to write user dot status key value is equal to logout. So here, we have changed status key value. Now we want to update this data in database. So here we have to write await keyword with user dot save function. So this code will update this data in MongoDB database. And after this, we want to send response to client. So here we have to write response.status function with 200 status code. And after this, we have to write JSON function. And under this function, we have to write an object with success as key. And in value, we have to write done. So it will send this data to client. So here our code is ready. Now for check output in browser, we have goes to terminal window. And here, we have to run this node server.js file, which will start node development server. So friends, here in browser, we can see that login form has been displayed on web page. So here, we have enter register user login details. And then after. We have click on login button. So after click on login button. Here we can see that. User has been login into system. And here on web page. We can see that. Login user profile image. And name details display. On web page. And below it. We can see that. Logout button has been created. And by click on this button, user can log out from this chat application. Now we want to log out from this chat application, so we have simply click on log out button. So after click on log out button, here we can see that user has been log out from chat application and redirect to login page. So in this part, we have learned how user can log out from this chat application. And in next part, we will start building login user setting page or profile page. So after login into system, user can change their profile details. So we will be meet in next part.